Hi, Jim Williams. I'm here at my home club, Old Natchez Country Club, Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm working on some swing changes today and specifically my takeaway a little bit. And I want to share with you some of the ways that you can sort of ingrain a swing change. So there's a lot of research out there on motor learning. There's a lot of great authors like Daniel Coyle and guys that have talked about chunking and doing things slowly and correctly and exaggerating changes to sort of accelerate the learning process of the brain. So without going into too much detail on that, it's a lot of very common knowledge out there. I want to talk about three specific things that's pretty easy for the average player to do if they're making a correction. So let's use a takeaway, for example. So I've got a little eight iron here. Let's say I'm somebody that, you know, typically kind of rolls the club around, we call around the corner, kind of picks it up, gets the club open, kind of slaps across the ball, something like that. So what you want to do is if you're going to make a correction or you're taking a lesson with somebody and you're trying to make a fix and let's say the, the teacher said, wow, your club head gets behind your hands. Let's keep the club head more outside your hands like this. Feel like the club head's more square, not as open. Maybe the handle of the club is a little closer to your right thigh, something like that. Well, if you're going to do that, the first and most important thing to do is exaggerate the change. That's the first thing I would tell you, is once you understand what you're doing, exaggerate it. So, this and this are two completely different things. So you're going to want to feel like the club head is way outside your hands. You might look at a guy like Ricky Fowler or somebody that has a takeaway that's very much like this. That'd be a good model for you. So number one, exaggerate the change. Now number two, slow down the change. Here's another one. Talk to your brain. Our brains work very slowly. They learn slowly. So if you've been whipping the club inside really fast, not only should you exaggerate the change to sort of enlighten your brain, you should slowly do it so you can process it. So I'm trying to get the club to do this. I'm going to go really slowly just like this. So I'm exaggerating. I'll probably be happy with this, but I'm going to feel like I'm doing this. And I'm going to slow it down a lot. The club face is much more closed. It's much more in front of my hands. I'm not letting the club roll around quickly like this. The third and final thing I would do is I would close my eyes and I would sort of visualize it, sort of in my mind. I would sort of imagine it. So as I'm doing it, I might even close my eyes, slowing it down and exaggerating, feeling the change, almost imagining like I'm watching myself from where you are. So here we go. So I'm going to make the change. Normally, I'm going this way. So I'm going to rehearse this a couple times, feel the club much more outside this way. Maybe close my eyes. Right down the line, that was a good hit for me. Nice and solid, really felt good compression. Felt the club head outside my hands like that and a dead straight ball flight, so I love that. So that gave me really great feedback. So here's the one and final point. Build a little toolbox in there. That shot right there was different than what you probably normally hit, let's say if you do this takeaway and kind of slap at the ball. That had very good compression. So I want to put that in sort of my mental toolbox. I want to feel that. I want to isolate that feeling so that I can recreate it down the line. So again, this is the key to learning, doing something over and over again, but having a real process to it. Exaggerating the change, slowing it down, closing your eyes, and then when you get some really good shots, really internalizing what it felt like. Watch that ball flight. Always watch the good shots so you can get some feedback back into your system as to what you felt or what you processed in the course of your change. I think this is really going to help you if you can slow it down and when you're doing these things to make those tough swing changes. Good luck with this.